Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. We've got another unboxing, and today we got in on loan from Asus, the new Vivo Book S. Uh, this one sells for $799, and it has an 8th generation Intel i7 quad core, along with an MX150 GPU. It seems pretty reasonably priced for what you get here, and we're going to be doing a full review of this soon on my main channel at lon.tv. So here is the laptop itself. Looks like a pretty... Uh, not a very large unit here, pretty nice sized, actually nice to have something this size with the GPU on board. Uh, looks like it's got a 1080p display on it, I believe, and I think the keyboard is backlit on this one too. I'll have to double check on that, but it looks like it might be. So, uh, very nice looking device here. Let's take a look at the ports on the side, and then we'll get into what else is in the box. Uh, USB 3.0 port here, HDMI. Uh, this looks like it's just USB-C here, but it would have been cool to have a Thunderbolt port on this too, but not no luck there. Uh, card reader here for a full-size SD card and two more USB 3 slots. So pretty basic uh, components here, but I think it's got a, a good specification for the price point. Again, $799 uh, with this configuration with 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. Let's take a look and see what else is in the box here. I think probably just the power cable. Yep, here's the power cable. Not a USB-C power cable, but we'll check that USB-C port to see if it can carry uh, power or anything else like that. And the book. So let's take a peek inside and see what is under the hood here. What's interesting is that they had two screws that had plastic over them. I guess they really don't want you getting into this thing. But once you're in, uh, it's actually uh, pretty nicely upgradable. So we have the ability to add additional memory. So you can see those four chips there are the eight gigs soldered onto the motherboard but you can slide in another eight here for dual channel memory to speed things up slightly, so that's good. Uh, because it has a GPU on board, the performance upgrade for games won't be all that much here by sliding in that extra RAM uh, chip, but uh, it would help, of course, to have dual channel for the best performance. Uh, right here is an M2 SATA drive. This one comes with 256 gigabytes of storage. Uh, I believe this is probably also going to support uh, M2 NVMe drive, so you could get a faster drive in here if you want. And it was also nice to see that you can slide in a 2.5 inch uh, SATA hard drive, so you could have a spinning drive or another SSD uh, dropped into this SATA slot here for more storage. That's really good to see on here. Uh, so you do have a lot of storage upgrade options on here once you get it apart. Not too hard to take it apart once you get in there, and uh, I like what I see here, so pretty good stuff. So what we're going to do now is put this thing back together, and we're going to have a full review up very soon on the main channel at lon.tv, so stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.